This tutorial is designed to assist you in inputting data for a Man Whitney U test. A Man Whitney U test. This tutorial is designed to assist you in knowing how to input data for a Man Whitney U test. We'll begin by reading the problem here in the study. Exercise manager at Mission Slim Possible, a large weight loss center, have asked you to determine if exercise type jump rope for 15 minutes each day or one hour, Zumba class twice a week, has an effect on weight loss for overweight clients. They randomly select 60 overweight clients and assign them to one of two groups, the jump rope group and the Zumba group. After participating in their assigned form of exercise for two months, their weight loss is measured. Determine if there is a statistically significant difference between exercise type and weight loss. So what we have here is um, a data set with two groups and the data we're going to enter is uh, data for the independent variable and the dependent variable. The dependent variable is weight loss. The independent variable is exercise type which includes two levels, the jump rope group and the Zumba group. So let's input those variables to begin with. So we start with a, um, a blank SPSS uh, data view or data file and we go to variable view and in variable view we're going to begin uh, we'll, the first variable we'll input is the dependent variable exercise type and we'll go ahead and decrease our decimals uh, to zero uh, there will be in terms of values, we'll have two. So one will be the jump uh, rope group, and two will be the Zumba class group. We'll add those two. This will be important to run um, in a, both an independent sample t-test as well as its non-parametric analog, the man with the U-test. So we'll click OK. Then we will scroll to the right. And the measures we're working with here, well, in this case, we are dealing with um, uh, two groups. And so this will be nominal data. The next uh, variable that will be entered is that of weight loss. And in this case, Let's make sure SPSS is a little temperamental about not having uh, having no spaces in the name. Okay, so here we're going to go back to our problem and see what the nature of the data is. And if you've used this particular data set, you'll know that this data is skewed. But it is also um, scale data because we're dealing with pounds. And so we will put scale data, but we're using a non-parametric test, Mann-Whitney, the Mann-Whitney U-test, as opposed to the independent sample t-test because the data, the distribution of either both of these or one of these groups is skewed. So now we will go back to our data view, and we will go over to measure, and we will put in scaled. Okay, now we have our variables. And so we will return to data view. Okay. So with data view, we'll begin by inputting the weight loss. And here we have two groups. So the jump rope group, rope group, we'll put in first. There's 30, 30 uh, subjects in that group. And we go, we'll go back to SPSS and input that data. Let's go back here and make sure we've got just to well, eliminate our decimals. And then for exercise type, you'll remember that the first group is the jump rope group. And so we will input, uh, we will indicate that that is the group that is associated with this weight loss. And we'll put ones for each of those values. We'll then go back to our problem and pick up the Zumba group weight loss. Copy that and p 
paste. And of course, the number that's associated with the Zumba group is 2. So back to, back to our data view, and we will put the number 2. There's probably a more efficient way to do this, but for instructional purposes, we will drive the point home by typing each number in. So there you have your two groups with the weight loss. And now you are ready to perform a, a Man Whitney U.